Welcome back, Electric Racers, to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Dark Violet on the um, GBA emulator. I am Electric Racing Fan 96 Ichi slash Sean. In the last episode, we beat Erica and got the fourth gym badge of the game. So now we have the Boulder Badge, Cascade. I'm sorry, yeah, Boulder Badge, Cascade, Thunder, and now we have the Rainbow as well. Um, but let me just go over the team because I love, I did some more training off screen. Got everybody to level 43. Surfy is still holding the lucky egg. Which I might just take that away from him now because he is caught up with everybody level wise. Um, but he has some moves. Muddy Water. What? Muddy Water can. These are attacks with with muddy water and may also lower the foe's accuracy extreme speed a blindingly speedy charge attack that always goes before any other so extreme speed is faster than quick attack haze eliminates all stat changes among all pokemon engaged in battle and osmosis which is a harsh attack that absorbs half the damage it inflicted to restore HP. And Surfy is a special attacker. Magni the Magnezone is holding that quick claw because he's still the slowest. His, his ability is sturdy, which is awesome. And he he knows some moves. He didn't learn any moves, new moves, but he still has static hit, flash. Thunderbolt and Flash Cannon. Angular Primate Blowing Cross Trap at level 42. I replaced that with, um. I replaced Karate Cross Trap with Karate Chop. I mean, Karate Chop for Cross Chop. Anger is very speed out, as you guys can see. But the Machu Blaze, it slows him down a little bit, make, but makes him more tough. Flamey the Charizard, level 43. He's not holding any items yet, but I am thinking of giving him one as soon as I can find it. But he, but he knows the moves. Flame Burst, Dragon Breath, Slash, and Cut. I will be getting rid of Cut today if I when I when I'm on my way to Lavender Town. And yes, I give it a giveaway. Because I'll be going into underground market just to look, forget kite. But Flamey is a special attacker, so that's that. Madame Rouge, which is Nido Queen, is on the bright powder. Her speed just got to 100, and she knows the moves: Rock Slide, Earth Power, Bite, and Sludge Bomb. That's a very different step up trying to counter every single type that I can. And chance to pitch, yeah, holding the scope lens, which raises the chance high critical hit ratio drastically. His speed is at 104. He still knows tackle, agility, wing attack, and quick attack. So that is that's where we're at right now and today I'm just gonna just gonna actually you know what let me actually show you where on the map where we're going so you guys can see so we're in Celadon right now we're just gonna make our way over to Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town that's where we're gonna be heading today so now we have to, we do have to go down because we can't go through, we can't go to Saffron yet. But if you guys are really excited for this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button and let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking about the series right now. So as you can see right here is the move deleter. So yes, let's forget a move for Flamey.
Help him forget cut. And it worked to perfection. Flamey has forgotten cut completely. Nice. Alright, so that's a stone merchant. We don't need the stone merchant yet. Now I don't need herbal medicine. I'm trying to find out where I can, um... Reminder, that's it. So, yes, let's... So let's reteach Flamia Fire-type move again. Um... You know what, let's actually get, relearn him Fire Fang. Yeah, Fire Fang. Flamula and Fire Fang. Alright, so we hand over the hard skill. So that's how we... So basically, talk to the guy in a green shirt right here to forget a move. And then walk over here to the guy in a blue shirt to 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 relearn the move. So we're still going in the underground path, heading to Vermilion, not Vermilion, Lavender Town. Maybe we'll all these guys are ready, so I'm just walking right by them. Just to get back. Hang on, I think I can get this berry over here again. Yep, Chester berries. Nice. I love the berries on this game, they're awesome. So we are back, officially back in Lavender Town. And today we're going to be going into... Pokemon Tower it become the spirits of Pokemon. Everybody's already fully healed, but I'm just putting Flamey up front. Just to because you never know if I'll need him or not. And now we can officially go up Lavender Town. I mean Lav Pokemon Tower. Cause now we also have the scope lens as well. Here's a Pokemon trainer. Be gone. Male Malevent spirit. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus Channeler Hope. Who sends out a Ghastly. Level 38 Ghastly. Wow. So we are like right upward with them. Let's just go for a fire thing right away and see if we can take it out. And yes, we can. Next up is a Mistrevis. Let's just stay in. Another level 38. So we are a little over leveled here. Use the Shadow Ball. So let's just take it out with Flame Burst. There was Mistrevis. He gives us a good amount of experience points. Phew. The spirit left. We got 7,600 for winning, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. There's a Pokeball up there, so might as well go back and get the Pokeball. Because Pokeballs are always items. Uh, oh, wow. Hoo hoo. Grah. Uh, could you repeat that in English, please? Chandler, Carly. Who sends out a ghastly? Alright, let's go for a fire fang on this thing. Just to take it out. Flamey is almost at level 44, but here comes the haunter. Let's just stay in with Flamey. Level 38 as well. 
is using Sucker Punch, which don't do that much damage to us. And there is Haunter with a Fire Fang. And we defeated Chandler Carly. Whew, hurrah! I'm saved. We got 7,600 for winning, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad at all. Fang Escape Rope. Nice. We're doing actually really good so far on time and everything as well. And here's a Pokemon, which is a Mistrevis. Let's actually try to get the Mistrevis. Flamey, can you paralyze her with Dragon Breath, please? Susan Psybeam at us. And there we have it, folks. Mistrevis is paralyzed. And it can't move as well. So let's just go for a Pokeball and see how we deal with it. Nope, it didn't like the Pokeball. And it does have Mean Look, which is awesome. Alright, let's go for a Great Ball. Nope, I don't want the Great Ball either. Let's give it one more Dragon Breath and hope we don't faint it. It's got one HP left. It cannot get any better than that. Let's go for one more Great Ball, ladies and gentlemen. Try to get this thing in one, another Great Ball. It was so close. And now I have to heal up Flamey again. Now let's, let's just use a Hyper Potion on it. Now let's go for a Timer Ball. Almost had it. This Madrivas is very picky it looks like. Now let's go for another Pokeball. Just gotta get in one of these. We never caught it yet, so I can't use a repeat ball. I'll just I'll be right back after I get this thing. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a level 36 Mistrevis. Mistrevis is a Screech Pokemon. It is 2 foot 4 and weighs 2.2 pounds. It plays mischievous tricks such as screaming and wailing to startle people at night. So... It is a male, I won't give it a nickname right now, but if you guys have a nickname for a male mischievous, please put it in the comments and I will name it that name for you guys. Because I'm still waking up, I mean yes I am still waking up, and um, ooh a Vulpix, nice. Alright, Flamey, use Slash. Only because I don't know if that thing's got a, um... Let's go for one more Slash just to take it out. There goes Vulpix. Here's another Vulpix. Try to save my moves for trainer battles, which happens to be another one right down here as well, along with the Ghastly. I right, flame use Fire Fang on it just to get it gone. They gave him some pretty good experience points before, and they still do. Flamey is almost at level 44, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad at all. And here's a trainer right here. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 
EG versus Chandler Kalen, who sends out a Vulpix. A level 30 Vulpix, not too bad. Let's just go for a few slashes on this thing and try to take it out. I have no clue what Hex does, but there goes Vulpix with two slashes. Next up is the Ghastly, let's just stay and let Flamey get to level 44. Firefang should do the trick. And there goes Ghastly. Flamey gets to level 44, ladies and gentlemen. And is still a special attacker. Not too bad. We defeated Chandler Kalen as well. Hmm? What am I doing? We got 7,600 for winning. Um, let's let Chance get in front. I always let everybody take turns on gaining levels. And you never know, we may have a rival battle here as well. Be cursed with me, Kua. No thank you, I'd rather not be cursed. Chandler Laurel, Laurel wants to battle and sends out a Mistrevis. Level 38 Mistrevis. Chance is just going to use Wing Attack and try to take it out. There was a mystery vest. Those plant paint splits could be real trouble. But here comes the hunter. Let's just stay in. He's a sucker punch to do a little bit to us. But Chance almost takes it out. Chance looks like he could get killed up too, but there goes the hunter. Chance gets a little bit of experience points and we defeated Pope Chandler Laurel. What? We got 7,600 for winning, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad at all. Sorry about that, just wanted to do a little heal up. We got Family Awakening, which is always comes in handy. Get the Pokeball down here and then work the way up. Here's a Mystery Vest, level 34. Let's let Chance to deal with this thing though. Alright, let's just run away. That thing could be a, that thing's a pain in the neck. What Pokemon was guarding the item? Oh, just a Ghastly. Level 34 Ghastly. Alright, Chance. Use a Wing Attack. There goes the Ghastly with one Wing Attack. And the item was an Ultra Ball. Nice. That is better than a Great Ball and a Pokeball together. And Elixir. That's also good. Here, yeah, let's just battle this person. Hoo hoo hoo. Beat me not. Oh, I'm gonna beat you, alright. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus Chandler Jody, who sends out a hunter. 38 hunter. Comes a 43 Pidgeot. Circle Punch always goes first if you're going for an attack. But there goes Hunter, just one wing attack. Next up is a Vulpix. Um, let's just stay and see if Chance can get to level 44. Now I can actually use Quick Attack against this thing. Ooh, there's Flamethrower. That's a good fire type move for Flamey. It, and it does damage too. Unnecessary critical hit takes out Vulpix. Chance is almost at level 43. Huh? Who? What? 
We got 7,600 for winning, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad. So we're actually making out good timing in here, I think, so far. As we're going to the very top of Pokemon Tower today. Because that's where Daisy said to, she will meet us, so that's where we are going. And the level 35 Hunter appears. Alright, Chance, just use Wing Attack on this thing, please. As it uses Sucker Punch. But two Wing Attacks, and there goes Hunter. Chance grows to level 44. And is trying to learn Roost. I'm going to say yes and get rid of Agility. Only because Roost can help restore our HP halfway from what it's at. Now it could come in handy. Save some Hyper Potions on Chance. So Chance learns Roost and gets rid of Agility. So we're actually making a really good timing on here. And we're almost ready to go up to the next area. Ghost. No. Qua. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus Channeler Paulina, who sends out a Vulpix. I have Madame Rouge up front. Let's just go for a rock slide. Throw some rocks on us, Vulpix. And there goes the Vulpix. Next up is a mysterious sludge to stay in. Because if you guys correct, Madame Rouge has Bite, which is a dark type move. Which could take out that thing in one shot like it did. So, there goes Channeler Pauline. Where is the ghost? We got 7,600 for winning. Now I know there's one place in here that you can... That they restore a Pokemon. Like, I mean, fully heal them. But I'm not sure if it's in this floor or the one above it. And it looks like it is... Yes, it is right here, ladies and gentlemen. You know what, let's just take that person on right there. And here's a Haunter, a level 34 Haunter. So let's just go for a bite and take this thing out. And indeed we do, and there goes Haunter. You shall join us. No, I shall not join you guys. Channeler Ruth wants to battle. Who sends out a gas level 37 ghastly? So she is a little under leveled compared to the other ones, but they still go down the same way. She's got a second ghastly, also at level 37. Let's use another bite on it to take it out. And she has three gas leaves. Let's just stay with Madame Rouge. And there goes the three gas leaves. Madame Rouge almost gets to level 44. What a nightmare. We got 7400 for winning, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad at all. We found a cleanse tag. Now I actually forget what that does. I've never used a cleanse tag before. An item to be held by a Pokemon. It repels wild Pokemon if the holder first is if the holder is first in the party. That's interesting. Come, young one. I've sealed the space with white magic. You can rest here. 
So as you can see, you can just come here, like walk in there one time, and here's your Pokemon. And there's a few more trainers up here. Zombies! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are challenged by Chandler Karina, who sends out a Haunter. Level 38 Haunter. Let's just send, look, it's using Sucker Punch. It only does 11 damage to us, and we just take it out completely. Madame Rouge gets to level 44, which is good. The best in Adam is Trevis. Um, let's send out Surfy, see if, what Surfy can do. This is Muddy Water. Which is very powerful, as you guys can tell. And this is what Osmosis does. So basically, it just takes health from your opponent and gives it to you, basically. Kind of like absorbing all that stuff. Huh? We get 7600 for winning. Not too bad at all. Yeah, Anger will not be doing good in this area at all, except for possibly seismic tosses. Only because fighting has no effect against. Ooh, and that's a nugget. You can sell that for $5,000. Nice. Here's a Ghastly again. Basically, you can see a lot of ghost types in here, basically. So, so Ghastly does snow Sucker Punch as well. But I just take it out with the Muddy Water. Oh, Urga, Earth. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus. Chandler Janai, sorry about that, who sends out a Vulpix. Now watch how much Osmosis does to this Vulpix. Vulpix is a pure fire type, and Surfy is a water type. Drains Sears and gives it all back to us. And we defeated Chandler Janai. Woo! We got 7,800 for winning. Nice. Not too bad at all. Breaking out good timing on here. Give me your soul. No, thank you. We're against Chandler Tammy. Who sends out Mysterious? Alright, let's just go for Muddy Water on this thing. And see if we can take out this Mysterious. And yes, it does. Surfy gets to level 44. Those are Surfy's stats. Next up is a Voltaic Fletch to stay in again. And use Muddy Water. And there goes a Voltaic. Next up is a Hunter. Let's send out Magni. See what Thunderbolt can do to this thing. Like, Sucker Punch is not very effective because Magni is part steel. And there is Hunter. We defeated Chandler Tammy. We got 7400 for winning. Before I go up any further, I'm just gonna heal up again. If I can get over there.
Alright, we entered it and the Pokemon are fully healed. Now let's set up the stairs to the next area. Level 34 Hunter. Let's just. Oh, you can't run from that. Yeah, you can't use Dream Meter unless your Pokemon. Unless your opponent is asleep, Hunter. And there goes Hunter, ladies and gentlemen, quite easily. Key, 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 key. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus Chandler Angelica. Who sends out a hunter? They're, they're almost level 40, so we are st barely ahead of them still, which is where I like to be. We defeated Chandler Angelica Key. We got 7,800 for winning. Not too bad at all. Give me blood. No, thank you. No bloodshed, please, Gen Chandler Jennifer. Who sends out a Vulpix? I keep Vulpix, but it's a bad matchup. But Magni is a weak against that, so we'll just try to take it out with Thunderbolt. We get a critical hit, and there goes the Vulpix. Next up is a hunter, let's just stay in. Go for another Thunderbolt. And there goes the hunter as well. We, and it, we, we, we defeated Chandler Jennifer and get 7600 for winning. Not too bad at all. Item down here. Ordered by a Pokemon, which is a Mistrevis. Just gonna run from it though. We found an Omega Stone, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Mega Omega Stones are always any kind of evolution stone is very good. And we are almost at the very top of Lavender Pokemon Tower. Here's another mischievous again. Uh, before we move any further, let me just heal up real quick. And I am back. Sorry about that. Earth. Kura. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus... Chandler Amelia, who has four Pokemon ready to go. First, first one is the Mischievous. Just gonna hit it with Thunderbolt or T-Bolt for short. And there goes Vulpic, I mean Mischievous. Magni is almost at level 44. Next up is the Vulpix. Let's just stay in. Try to get a Magni to 44. Go for another Thunderbolt. And there goes Vulpix. Magni gets to level 44. Nice. Next up is the Ghastly. I'm just gonna stay in. Only because I don't. Alright, let's just t try to see if Sada Kit to take this thing out for us. And indeed it does. Next up is a hunter, let's just stay in. I'm surprised that there's Vulpix even in 
Pokemon Tower because Pokemon Tower is normally all ghost types and Vulpix is just a pure fire type. I'd expect to see Grimer here but not Vulpix's. Something fell out. We got 7200 for winning. Alright, you know what? I'll just take the chance and put Ango up front. I was gonna take a huge chance with that. And there's an item over here which I had a feeling there was one over here but I wasn't positive. Alright, let's see if Seismic Toss works. Okay, so Seismic Toss even does, even that does not work. Are you serious? Uh, th this is not good at all because not because Ango cannot do anything to Mistrevis. So Mistrevis, just take us out, please. That or we'll have to use struggle. This is not good at all. I'll be right back. Uh, if they use one more uh, side beam, hate to say it, but that, that's gonna have to be worth it because Anger literally can't do anything to this mischievous. Oh, that was okay. Do not use, do not use any more pain splits, please. Hex and side beam only. Sorry about that anger, I had no choice. I literally had no choice against that Pokemon. So I have to use a revive on anger. Only because it is only because it is approved like approvable for this case because I did not know that Mistrebus knows speed look. But we found ourselves a real candy anyway, which is awesome. We can head down from here, and there's a little Vulpix. Alright, so Anger is still just gonna run. Get out! Leave this place! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus the Mysterious Ghost. And if you know from the previous games, it's normally a Marowak. In the Silver Scope, unveil unveil the ghost's identity, and again, it was a Marowak. So let's just use Cross Trap and see if we can take it out. And cr high critical hit ratio, and, and it was a crit. And there goes the Marowak. The ghost was the restless spirit of Baby Cubone's mother. The very Mario Marowak that Team Rocket killed on Route 10. The mother's spirit was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. Let's just go for the ether on Brick Brick Brickety Brick Brick. Because we'll be needing that hopefully soon. And what do you notice? Team Rocket grunts up here as well. What do you want? Why are you here? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus Team Rocket Grunt, who sends out a Zubat. Level 38 Zubat. 
So let's just switch out to Magni and let Magni deal with this Zubat for us. Element Gust. Let's go for Static Shock. There goes to Zubat. Ango gains experience points and so does Magni. Now coming out of the Hound Hour, that is easy for Ma for Ango. And if you guys wonder why I nicknamed Primate Ango, I mean the Mankey Ango, is because when it gets into a full rage, the, s the stronger, the, the more power, the more people attack it with rage, the stronger it gets, and it gets into rages a lot and can be angry. That's how I came up with the name of anger. Next up is a Venomoth. Let's switch back out to Magony, ladies and gentlemen. And try for a static hit, because I don't know if that's part flying or not. And it was not, but it missed sleep powder, so let's just take it out with the Thunderbolt. There goes Venomoth. We defeated Team Rocket Grunt. I give up. We got 7600 for winning. I'm not going to forget this. This old guy marched right up to our hideout. Then he started ranting about how Team Rocket is abusing Pokemon. So we're just talking it over as adults. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus Team Rocket Grunt. Who sends out a coughing? Level 39 coughing. Let's just use Seismic Toss against this thing and see if we can take it out. With a few seismic tosses. It uses Iron Wheel, which I have never heard of that move, but it actually looks really cool from the animations. But two seismic tosses and coughing's down. Next up is the hip now. Uh, let's have Magni. Let's have Magni deal with that. Uh, let's just go for flash cannons on this thing and try to take it out. It's got a chance of blowing your special defense or accuracy. It's just using meditate to raise its attack and special just as its attack. So we're just gonna take it out with two flash cannons. There goes Hypno. We defeated Team Rocket Grunt. Please, no more. We got 7,800 for winning. Let me just see if anybody's got to get healed. No, we're good. That looks like Ariana up front again. You're not saving anyone, punk. Well, let's just see about that, Team Rocket. Team Rocket Grunt, who sends out a Zubat, level 37 Zubat. Send out Magni to deal with this Zubat Elemental Element Gust again. Which does no damage at all. Let's just go for a Thunderbolt and take try to and just take this out. Altus Zubat. And there we have it. Next up is a Machoke. Um, let's have a chance to deal with this Machoke. Just 
gonna use wing attack on this thing just to see if it takes it out and indeed it does with a critical hit nice next next we're sending out there or an Arbok let's send out Madame Rouge against Arbok because Madame Rouge learned a new move and it's got Intimidate, so let's just try out the new move, which is Earth Power. And that animation is awesome. There's a combination of, like, Magnet Bomb and Earthquake combined. Nice. Next we're sending out a Grimer, let's just stay in. And use Earth Power one more time. And we defeated Team Rocket Grunt, ladies and gentlemen. Don't fight us rockets. Then stay out of Then stay out of my way and or I won't have to keep fighting you guys. We got 7400 for winning. Ariana. I just knew it. No matter what we do, you'll always be there. I'll never understand how you're ever a lot even alive after what we did to you on the SS Anne. By messing with us once again, you are putting your life in great danger. I'm going to scare you for good. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus Team Rocket Executive Ariana, who starts off with a level 41 gold eye. But let's just send out Magni and see if Magni can take it out with one Thunderbolt. And she's going with her first move she always does, which is Confusion. You confuse, right? Let's go for a Thunderbolt. Magnus confused, but still uses Thunderbolt. And takes out that goal by in one literally one zap. Magni is almost at level 45. Here comes the Nita Arena. They still have that Nita Arena, so let's just send out Madame Rouge. Use Earth Power against that thing. It's a combination of Blast Burn, Earthquake, and Magnet Bomb. And there goes the new arena. She's she's gonna send out an Espeon. Let's just send out Magni because Magni will do damage to Espeon, and Espeon will not do anything to Magni. Level 41 Espeon. Let's go for a static hit. Magni is not a physical attacker, he is a special attacker. Critical hit. Let's just and he and she uses the hyper potion. So let's just use some thunderbolts on this thing. Go for one more. She's using Psychic, which is not very effective because it was being called Steel. But it does lower our Spadef or Special Defense a little bit. So that could be a problem. And there goes Espeon. Magni gets to level 45. And is trying to learn Screech. I'm going to say no to Screech. Next up is a Hunter. Um, 
Let's let Flamey deal with the Hunter. Go for Fire Fang. And Flamey is faster than Hunter and is one level stronger than Hunter. And it uses the Citrus Berry. But luckily for us, we got six Chester Berries we can use to wake up. And I had a feeling she was going for Dreamy, that's where I used that. Flamey used Fire Fang to take out that Hunter with a critical hit. We have defeated Team Rocket Executive Ileana. You're so annoying and so strong. We got 1,720 for winning. Why are we here, you ask? I guess I'll tell you that much. Mr. Fuji has information on the legendary Pokemon. Hey Daisy, I'm putting an end to your crimes. You thugs are planning to take over the Kanto region, and I will not allow that. And who might you be? My name is Daisy. I am the granddaughter of Professor Oak, and I'm the new gym leader of Viridian City. I will take you down with my Earth-loving Pokemon. You're the gym leader of Viridian City? What a pitiful replacement you are. My time as the gym leader of Viridian City was getting in the way of my plans for Kanto. So I resigned that position. I've always wondered who my successor was going to be. I must say, I am disappointed. Now step aside, Daisy. Let me speak to your friend, E.G. I'm E.G. I'm quite surprised you continue to oppose my organization, even after I revealed the Devil's Prism to you. Do you realize how much power I will attain once the Devil's Prism can control the legendary Pokemon? Surely you do not want to be punished when the time comes. Unfortunately for you, you are a bit late in coming here. I have obtained some information on the legendary Pokemon. Thanks to Mr. Fuji, my work here is done. Stay out of trouble, E.G. E.G., I am so sorry that I was late. You couldn't have healed my Pokemon after every single battle coming up here, Daisy. It was very tough. I, I was came all the way up here thinking you were up here and I beat you up here. Really? At least Team Rocket finally left. And yes, I was telling that woman the truth. I am the new gym leader of Viridian City. So, ladies and gentlemen, Daisy is going to be the 8th gym leader of the Kanto region. Before, So we have to beat Daisy before we can go into the Pokemon League. I'm heading to Viridian City right now. It would make my day if I was your 5th gym leader match. There, I have healed your Pokemon. You better stop by, haha, <laughs> smell you later. Just like... Just like Nick or Gary, they always say smell you later. <laughs> this Alright, so Kimon's talking now. Mr. Fuji, please, tell me about Deoxys and its relation to Birth Island. Excuse me. Hmm. Alright then, there is a mysterious triangular stone tablet that lies on Birth Island. According to the prophecy of the triangular stone tablet, when a remnant of a certain space virus is taken to Birth Island, the stone tablet will produce a laser beam 
that will create the axis's missing body. So if we're, if one to if one were to find a remnant of that space virus, would Birth Island be the only way to restore the axis? Not necessarily. If one were to find a way to harness the ty same type of minerals found on Birth Island, they would be able to replicate the same kind of laser beam. Mr. Fuji, Gianni is Giovanni is working on a machine called the Devil's Prism. I'm positive that the sole, the sole purpose of the Devil's Prism is to create the laser beam that will restore Deoxys's body. If Giovanni were to obtain Deoxys's body, Deoxys, he would unleash great pain upon the citizens of Kanto. He must be stopped at all costs. Yes, yes, I understand. The severity of this is of this situation. However, if you are trying to stop Team Rocket alone, I must say that I am worried for you. I have observed that you don't treat your Pokemon with much care. If you carry on like that, you can't possibly stand up to Team Rocket. Giovanni is very pow powerful. Yes, he is. Even without Deoxys. A very long time ago, when Giovanni was just 16 years old, he was given his first Pokemon by Professor Oak. Giovanni traveled through the Kanto region and defeated the gym leaders at, of that time. And he even went on to the Challenge of the Elite Four as champion of the Kanto of the Kanto region. I battled him and was impressed by his great skill. I offered him a position as the gym leader of Viridian City, to which he accepted, and he held that position until only recently. Giovanni is a powerful man, and a young boy such as yourself does not stand a chance. Now if you will excuse me, I would like to thank someone. You came to save me. Yes, I did. Thank you. You're welcome. But I came here of my own free will. Are you are you are you kidding? We walked up all those flights of stairs, took out Team Rocket, just to find out that you came up here by your for your own free will. I was never taken hostage. That was just a scare tactic by Team Rocket. I came here to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother, to which Team Rocket found out and infiltrated the tower to get information out of me. Giovanni wanted to contact me because he knew I was involved in a terrible accident. That occurred 13 years ago. I don't think I've introduced myself to you yet. Call me Mr. Fuji. I am the current champion of the Kanto region. Really, he, Mr. Fuji is the current champion of the Kanto region, ladies and gentlemen. So we have. So we met the gym leader of Viridian City and the champion of the Kanto region but I am retiring in order to spend more time caring for orphaned or abandoned Pokemon that is completely understandable I would do the same exact thing I must thank you for calming Marowak's spirit you're welcome all it took was just one cross drop with a critical hit just to take it out literally I think she knows by now that Cubone is in good hands. I'm sure she does, Mr. Fuji. This might be of use to you. 
We got the Pokey Flute, ladies and gentlemen. The Pokey Flute can be used to wake up any sleeping Pokemon. It might even be able to wake up the Snorlax that's blocking Diglett's cave near Vermilion City. Also, my purpose here is done. I wish you good luck on the rest of your journey. Do visit me at my home sometime. It is right here in Lavender Town. Thank you, Mr. Fuji. Hi, Cayman. That Fuji guy is the champion? He told me that I need to treat my Pokemon better. It is true, you do. Humph. If only he knew what my life was like. E.G. I challenge you once again. This time, I won't lose. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. E.G. versus Pokemon Trainer Kamen. He's got four Pokemon ready to go. He starts off with a Kaboot. Level 40 Kabutops. Let's just go for a cross chop. And it uses slash. We just I just use cross chop and just take it out with one shot. Anger now gets to level 44. Not too bad. Next, he's coming out with an Altaria. Luckily for us, we have Flamey. Because Altaria is part dragon. And Flamey can take out the dragon. Let's go for Dragon Breath. And we get also get the Paralysis on it as well. Nice. So they do a critical hit on us. Let's just go for another Dragon Breath. It is paralyzed. Let's use... Oh, he's using Hyper Potion. Okay, let's, let's just use Dragon Breath. And then let's just go for Slashes. And see if we can take out a few Slashes. Well, let's go for one more slash. It misses Sing, which is good. So we just take it out with slashes and cuts. Next up is Porygon 2. Uh, let's send out Anger again. So it no has trace, let's just go for cross chop. Just to take out that polygon too. Next <sighs> I'm sorry. Next up is the deal Reno. Let's send out Madame Rouge. Use Earth Power. Flame Earth Power is awesome. It, it's I'm I am very it, I'm very happy about all the animations I am seeing. So let's just take it out with a bite, with an unnecessary critical hit, and there goes the Nido Reno. So there goes Pokemon Trainer Cayman. By strengthening my Pokemon to the top, how could this be? We got 1,512 for winning. Humph. Whatever. At least Team Rocket has consistently proved how pathetic they are. Giovanni is never going to succeed at catching the legendary Pokemon. Just you wait. So let's just get out of here. And I'll see you guys in a second after I get out of here. And I am back. Just gonna talk to Mr. Fuji real quick. Lavender Volunteer Pokemon House. So let's talk to Mr. Fuji in here. E.G. Your Pokedex is one that requires strong dedication. 
Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. On a different subject, I have retired from my position as the champion. Having faced many trainers, I am of course curious to see how you battle. Thank you, Mr. Fuji. That is going to be it for today's episode of Let's Play Pokemon Dark Violet, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to thank you all so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit the bell to be notified when I upload as well. Um, I am going to be recording again later on as well for the next episode of need for speed payback as well I just have to look and see if my the vehicle I'm using is prepared enough for that or not um, but thank you all so much for watching and if you're new to the channel I mean if you enjoyed the video please like the hit the like button and l again in the comments let me know of a nickname that I can use for that mischievous and I will put it in because I will be adding that mischievous to the team because I believe I have the stone to evolve it yes I have a dusk stone so I can evolve that mischievous with the dusk stone so thank you again for so much for watching and I'll see you guys later on for the next episode of Need for Speed Payback. Thank you so much and have a good day.